Teacher Assist is a simple synchronous tool built for Google Classroom. It allows admins and teachers to manage the virtual behavior of their online classes by allowing them to view and monitor students' online activity and screens in real time. In this overview, we'll be covering the different areas of Teacher Assist to help familiarize yourself with the tool. As a prerequisite, GatShield is required for Teacher Assist to function. Please ensure you have deployed GatShield before accessing Teacher Assist. Students must also be signed into the Google Classroom using their Google Workspace accounts and have Shield deployed on their device or browser. Teacher Assist can only be used by Google Classroom teachers and admins of the domain. However, school principals can also be granted access. You can access Teacher Assist from any other GatLabs tool by using the drop-down menu. On the left panel, you will see sections for teachers, principals, admins, and the help section if you need assistance. We'll start off with teachers. Here we have the dashboard. The dashboard will show a list of all the last sessions on the left and the last session details on the right. In the last session list, we can view the name and date of each session. And by using the drop down menu next to the last session, you can download the session's report as a PDF or send that report via email. When sending the report via email, you can add a message and attach any screenshots if the report includes them. Screenshots can be taken by the teacher during a live session, which we will showcase later in the video. Next, we can show the attendance list. In the attendance list, you can also download or email individual reports for each student. You can also include screenshots as part of that report. And below that, we can show the screenshots list. And finally, we have the site access control history. This will log any sites that have been either allowed or blocked by the teacher during the session. For example, if the teacher would like their students to access a website that may be blocked by GAT Shield, they can override that rule and that would be logged here. The Courses Card View is where the teacher has access to all of their courses, Google Classrooms, and TA groups in one place. Teacher Assist will automatically show your Google Classrooms. However, if you do not use Google Classroom, you can create a Teacher Assist group that can be used instead. We'll be going over how to create a group in a moment. By default, only active courses are shown. You can switch to view all courses by selecting the toggle here. You can also filter by Teacher Assist groups, which you can create, export or import with these options. This section can also be filtered by the owner, teacher, classroom and by student. In this case, I've set my filter type to teacher and entered my teacher's email. To reset your search, you can select the X icon in the search field and then click the search button. To bring back your original search, you can select the Reset to User Search Results button. Here we can see some course cards. You will be able to see the details for the class, like the name, description, the owner, and the last session date, as well as any recent activity. Below that are a range of options for the card. You can view the absence notes if any are available, refresh the memberships of the classrooms, edit the classroom settings, and the Classroom Insights button which will take you to the Classroom Insights section for this course card. Finally, you can start a virtual teaching class by clicking Start Session. We'll be showcasing how this session will appear for teachers after covering the Admin section. You can also go to this time in the video if you want to skip ahead. To create a group, select the option at the top. When creating a group, you can give it a name, description and owner. You can also add teachers and students to this group. In Prepare a Group Session, you can block all sites by default or set site access rules as well as import rules from the courses. You can also set timers for the sessions if needed. In Site Collections, you can create a collection of websites that you can access or have loaded for all users at the start of the session. You can also import any you have already made from a course. Next we have YouTube Control. This feature will allow you to set or remove restrictions on the content your students will have access to on YouTube. You will be able to block or allow categories, YouTube channels, and videos, as well as the option to block keywords. There may be cases where some blocked YouTube videos or channels may need to be unblocked during a class. If the admin of the domain has enabled Prevent Override by Session in their YouTube section, then the teacher will be unable to unblock content. If the setting is disabled, the teacher may override that block by providing the channel or video URL and allowing access. Next, we have the Classroom Insights section. Please note, Google restricts the number of classwork scans, which can cause some information to be missing. 
To update the information presented here, your super admin can request a manual scan. This can be done from the classwork tab in the classroom section of GAT+. Here we can search for a specific classroom or use the classroom insights button we mentioned on the course card. For this example, I'll search for one of our classrooms using its name. Once the class is selected, insights will display both teacher and student scopes. Teachers can navigate through these insights using the following tabs. The people tab will show the people involved in this class and whether they are teachers or students. The classworks tab will show a summary of classwork submissions as well as average scores. The grades tab will show grades corresponding to each student for each classwork. Browsing activity will show a historical view for each student. You will be able to see the websites they have visited as well as the time they spent on each website. You'll also see a pie chart encapsulating the data. This data can also be filtered for any specific day. And finally, we have the site access control history, which contains a historical log of the site access control rules being applied or removed during the session. Please note that this data is only kept for 30 days. The attendance report will, as the name implies, provide a report for admins and teachers on the attendance of their classes. You have the option to filter by teacher, classroom, or group, and also select a time range. In this example, I've searched for a specific teacher, and for the time range, I'll select the last five sessions. Students who did not attend the class will receive a red marker, while students who did attend, but for a short period, will receive a yellow marker. Green markers are given to students who attended most of the session. Using the buttons on the right, you can export any of the results you see here to a PDF. The settings section will display the user information of the current admin or teacher viewing the section. Course settings allow you to change the appearance of course cards from the default card view to a list view that separates the courses into two sections, classrooms and teacher assist groups. Session settings allow you to enable or disable various options, such as whether or not to play a sound for chat messages whether or not to show a student left message during live sessions, and also if screenshots taken during the session should be automatically uploaded to the teacher's drive. And finally, with the report settings, you can enable the option to send a report for the session automatically once it has concluded. The principal section is accessible to school principals. To enable the principal feature, you will need to use the access rights area of the administration section. We recommend viewing our guide on our knowledge base or viewing our YouTube how-to, both of which can be found in the description of this video. The reports area shows a historical view of all the courses that were conducted in Teacher Assist, both classroom and Teacher Assist groups. The attendance report area will allow the principal to access the same reports we saw in the teacher section. The live classes area allows the principal to observe any active course sessions in real time. The administration area within the admin section contains five separate tabs. In the general tab, you can set a default timer for all classes. By enabling timer is visible, you can allow teachers to set their own timer during the start of a live session. Sessions contains a log of all previous live sessions. The logs can be filtered by session name, teacher emails, the date, by when the session started or ended, and its status. Time limits allow you to set a time limit for teacher assist for any days or hours. Access rights allow you to enable or disable access rights for a designated scope, such as all users, one user, a group of users, or an org unit. For the area, you can select all, creating and editing groups, editing groups only, access to student drives, viewing student drives, teacher rights, access to reports, and access to teacher assist as a principal. For action logs, you can view a record of activities conducted in the Teacher Assist tool. Next, we have the YouTube area. The Base Settings tab will allow an admin to set age restrictions and restrictive mode. They can also prevent teachers from overriding any global settings during a session. The following tabs for category, channel, video, and keywords allow the admin to block or allow content. Each category provides options to prevent students from accessing content. You can also make exceptions. For example, there may be an important video that belongs to a blocked category. In that case, you would allow that video by using the video tab, by providing the contents URL and choosing to allow it. The settings applied here will be applied globally to all sessions. If you allow your teachers to override global settings, they can have the discretion to allow certain content that may be blocked if and when needed. We'll now be showcasing a live session. 
When a teacher wants to begin a class, they can start a session. This will launch the virtual classroom dashboard. If the admin has set the timer to be visible in their section, you will be prompted to set a timer at the start of a live session. In the top row, you can find various options. From here, you can exit your session, ending the class. Please note that you must ensure you click this exit session button at the end of your class, otherwise students may remain locked in your classroom. The next option will open the chat window, allowing you to start a conversation with a student or co-teacher. Lock tab will lock all current tabs for all students, preventing them from switching to another tab. The next option will show a search panel to quickly find any student in the class. Display options will allow you to set your preferred view options, such as how many user cards to display per row, whether to set the preview type to active cards or statistics, and sort student cards by email address, first name, or last name. Session tools will provide various options to help manage your session, such as selecting all students, opening new tabs, pushing a site collection, closing all browsing tabs, making a classroom announcement, site control, reconnecting the session in case of a disconnect, viewing absence notes, and unpinning all students if you have any pinned. Please note, to successfully connect to the virtual class, students must be signed into their Chrome account on their Chrome browser, whilst being in synchronous mode. If a student is connected, their status icon may become green, or you will begin to see their display. Disconnected students will be marked with a grey icon, and will also show info about when these students last attended a virtual class, including their previous teacher name, email, and class. To interact with a student, you can select the green icon to the right of the student's name. In the drop-down menu, you will see the student's email among other options. From here, you can open new tabs for the student. Distribute or block the current page for all other students. View the student's browsing history. Send a message to the student via a chat box that only this student will see. Screenshot the student's current browsing tab. Maximize the viewing window, giving you a focused view of the student's screen and granular control over their browser. You can also view the student's browsing history in the same window. View Google Drive will give you direct access to the student's drive files. Set Lock tab so the student cannot switch to another tab. Close all browsing tabs, which will reset the student's browser. And finally, the option to pin the student to keep them at the top of the view. With all of these options, teachers can now manage and oversee their students in real time. And that concludes this overview of Teacher Assist. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and ring the bell for regular updates. You can also get a 15-day free trial of GAT Plus by visiting our website at gatlabs.com.